Welcome to this review and breakdown of the menu. Just like the diners, I had no idea what to expect when going into this movie as I hadn't checked out the trailers. I simply see the poster of an Anna Taylor Joy movie and well, away I go. I'm pleased to say that this is probably easily one of my favourite movies of the year. The cast are impeccable and incredibly unlikable, yet I was gripped on if they were going to survive this or not. The movie unravels itself slowly as we work out the theme of the movie as it goes on, just as the diners uncover the theme of their menu, with the pacing is just as exquisite as the mouthfeel, I imagine, of these dishes. The diners all head to an incredibly exclusive and expensive restaurant of legendary chef Julian Slowick. Now, each one of these diners are rich and hoity-toity. He's a chef who makes the most snooty food imaginable, as we see Margot or Erin say that he's taken the joy out of food and hasn't made anything anyone actually wants to sit down and enjoy and savour. Now, that's why he lets her escape as the group are carefully selected as each one of these people have taken the joy out of cooking for him while he's also managed to take the joy out of cooking. It's a sort of symbiotic relationship. As he said, he's not wanted or enjoyed cooking for quite some time. The movie mainly focuses on Margot, who has been brought to the island, who we believe at first is... Tyler's girlfriend. He is excited to visit the remote island while she doesn't care one bit. She's just there, we think, because she wants him to have a good time, but she's just a cool girl. As we slowly find out, she is the outsider in this group of disgustingly rich bankers and socialites. She, over the course of the movie, doesn't get this at all, and is increasingly confused at Tyler's absolute simping for a chef who clearly does not care about him. As one of the guys says later, most of the people here are paying for the experience. Tyler seems to be the only one who is a self-confessed foodie, except Lillian Bloom, an extremely pretentious food critic who gave Slovak his big first feature review break, but as we found out later, has ruined many lives given a bad review. The group are taken around the island as we are shown that all of the food is served and cultivated on the island with exception maybe of like the wine or the grain for the bread. It's clear that the tech bros in the group don't care one bit. They think they're entitled but look down on the whole thing and don't really care. They even try and pull the whole do you know who we are thing as well while Tyler swoons over the pretentiousness of the whole thing. Hong Chao is excellent at keeping each one of these guests in check and she really was one of the joyous parts of this seeing her smack down these elites. Now her passive aggressive contempt makes so much more sense later in the movie. While in the dining room the clues that Tyler is not truthful are laid he just mentioned that he's watched simply cooking shows and doesn't fit in as he is asked not to take photos of the food but he does but he has one of those fancy pressure cooker things or whatever they are as well margot becomes uncomfortable at the entire forced pretentiousness of the whole thing and she herself has a secret as she's a cool girl one of the other guests was also her patron and Tyler just hired her so he could go to the island as he was dumped and is strictly a two-person thing. We found out that he breaks nearly all of the rules and is just a tourist on the whole foodie thing because he can't even cook as we found out later and he was told, well I'd imagine that he was just an absolute nothing person and ruined the entirety of cooking with his tourism nature the whole secret and real reason that each of the guests are here is slowly revealed as Slowick's menu theme of his hatred for the people who made him the star unravel on the tortillas they are served with secrets of each one of them each one of the guests was chosen as they represent in Slowick's eyes the worst of the world the tech bros have their whole wire fraud exposed while other people such as Margot's precious customer or previous customer has his photo with her lasered on. They're all clues as to why each one of them have been chosen. 
Just like the menu, each one of these reveals are slowly and expertly paced, and I felt a sense of urgency. I was gripped, like, what the hell is going on? All the while, absolutely enjoying the wild ride. The reveal that this is a deadly evening comes when the course named The Mess is revealed. Sloic introduces a sous chef who actually created this dish. The sous chef is berated for spending his whole life and humiliated for wanting to become the best chef like Sloic. However, he doesn't have the talent, as it's said, and he will never become more than what he is right now. He's made a mess of his life trying to pursue perfection. It's absolutely shocking as he shoots himself and it is absolutely disturbing shocked at this richard tries to leave only for his ring finger to be cut off a sick insult for him trying to simply escape by calling a helicopter saying that he can use his hands to do whatever he wants slowick explains that everyone there is to die as they took the joy from him richard was chosen as he has been to the restaurant 11 times but cannot name a single dish something Sloic takes as an insult as to what he has been creating here it speaks to the thing that these are all the elites they take and take and take and even the star chef the one who everyone wants to visit and be cooked for by is still in quotes owned by these elites quite literally by the uh you know the angel investor Lillian is a pretentious person who has ruined countless lives by with the the restaurants being closed due to her negative reviews she thinks she knows everything as she mentions a uh, an emulsion i think it was that was split and she keeps getting mocked as they bring bigger and bigger plates of emulsion each one of the people will die and this starts with the investor and owner of the island and restaurant he's displayed with angel wings as he is what's known as an angel investor someone who invests and expects capital and stuff shared back He's displayed with angel wings, showing this, and he's drowned in the ocean, freeing Slowick. I loved how his investors say that he got him through COVID, but it's true, but he demanded substitutions and changes, not respecting Slowick's vision and the reason why people want to be there. Slowick slowly realizes just who Margot is. He gives her the option of dying with the elite or with her own kind, the service industry. She is tormented by this. He sees her as one of them and she says it's moot as she's dying anyway. She used to like her job providing a service, but I'd imagine that things that depraved stuff like Richard asked for is just pushed her too far. She knows exactly what Slowick is going through, albeit on a different level, of course, but she knows what it's like to have one's passion for life and their service eroded by disgusting, elite, entitled people. It's why she's able to escape. Slowick later mentions why no one is able to escape and no one really tried, despite even being given a head start during men's folly. They never tried to speak to him as a person. Now... With this, we also see during Men's Folly that even he is a disgusting person. During this, we see another way passion can be eroded as a woman who made that course had her dream eroded in her eyes by the elites like Slowick. However, Margot is able to escape as she can cut to his core while the others idolize or look down on or just think they're just better. She sees him just as a person. It's a clue as to why she says how the sous chef knew Tyler's name, but he didn't bother to ask his. She is made part of the team and asked to get the barrel needed for a dessert and comes into conflict with the the hostess. And Margot in his house finds a mirror of the restaurant and we learn what's behind the door that was said by the host as something special. It was the minimal living quarters and a radio. Margot sees some newspapers clippings chronicling his career. We learn how he rose from humble beginnings learning to cook in the movie, but in the review and news clippings we see, we see him with no smile. He only smiles in the award for employee of the month at a burger restaurant. While the Coast Guard trick fails, we learn that the actor is only there because Slovak saw his movie on a rare day of and absolutely hated it. And the girl he's with went to Brown and has no actual kind of 
student loans or anything. So he's like, yeah, you're going to die, which did make me laugh. Margot or Erin tries something different. She says how she wants to return her food and humbles him. She says how she's hungry and wants a cheeseburger. Something simple. Something which people love to eat. I mean, I, I love a cheeseburger. But, well, she knows it's the last time he truly enjoyed making food. Everyone watches as he makes it, and he makes it with passion and delivers it to her just like his old small town restaurant. She's allowed to leave as she gave him just a semblance of his passion back. That's something she does as a cool girl. She makes people feel special. So she used her service against him. Chef's kiss. She leaves as the rest are killed and turned into s'mores, which I'm still not really sure what they are. I've never had one in the UK at all. But a masterpiece of a movie here. So let me know what you think down below. What's your take on the ending, as it is all subjective, of course. Please drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and do subscribe with notifications. And if you want more from us, and I'll see you soon, goodbye.